Now in this last part of the question, we've got to now find the exact value for this volume, giving our answer in the form of p pi squared plus q pi times root 3, where p and q are constants. So how do we do this? Well, we found out in the previous part that the volume v was given by this result here. It was 16 pi times the integral from 0 to pi upon 6 of sine squared theta d theta. And we've already worked out in part a of the question what the integral of sine squared theta is with respect to theta. So all we need to do then is just put our 16 pi down. We've got square brackets now. We know the result of the integral of sine squared theta d theta from part a. It turned out to be a half of theta minus a half sine 2 theta. So we have that. Close the bracket off. Put our limits in going from naught to pi upon 6. So this half can be taken out of the front of the in, uh, these brackets here because uh, it's a constant. So therefore, we could cancel the half into the 16. And what we've got is 8 there. So therefore, we end up with 8 pi. And we now just need to put in our limits. If we put in pi upon 6 for theta, we've just got pi upon 6 there minus a half sine of, and if we've got 2 times theta, 2 times pi upon 6, we'll get 2 pi over 6, or the equivalent of pi over 3 if we cancel the 2 into that 6. So that's the first part, and then we'll just put that in brackets, and then if we put 0 through, we've got to take away what we get if we put 0 through. Well, theta would be 0 there, so I could write 0, I suppose. Don't have to. And then put 0 in this one, we get minus a half of sine of 0. Let's just close the bracket off. So we've got 8 pi. And then for this one, we've got multiplied by pi upon 6. And the sine of pi upon 3, or the equivalent in degrees of the sine of 60 degrees, is root 3 over 2. And so you've got root 3 over 2 times a half, so that's going to be minus root 3 over 4. So that's the first part. And now the sine of 0, well that's 0, so all of this is 0. So that just means we've got this result here. And to get it in this particular form, it looks like we need to expand the bracket. So if we expand the bracket, we're going to get 8 pi squared over 6, and then minus 8 pi root 3 over 4. And we can do a bit of cancelling here because you can see that you could divide top and bottom here by 2, so that's going to be 4 thirds and you could divide the 4 into the 8 and that's going to give you a 2. So therefore we end up with 4 pi squared over 3 minus 2 pi root 3. So you can see that we've got it in this particular form. Not that we're asked to quote p and q, but if we were, p would be 4 thirds and q, be careful here, would be minus 2. Okay, so uh, there you go. There's our answer. So I hope that's been of some use to you.